northern Philippine provinces were struck by a forceful wind and heavy rains of Typhoon Duxuri on Wednesday. Tragically, at least six people lost their lives, and thousands were displaced as the typhoon ripped roofs off houses, inundated low-lying villages, and triggered numerous landslides, according to officials. One heartbreaking incident occurred in Bugias Town, Bingue Province, where a landslide buried a house, claiming the lives of a mother, her child, and two other children, while two other individuals were injured. In Baguio, a 17-year-old resident lost their life when their house was engulfed by loosened soil due to the torrential downpours the Associated Press has reported. In Isabella province, a woman selling bread on a bicycle cart tragically died when struck on the head by a falling coconut tree, as reported by the police. Doc Surrey made landfall in Fuga Island before dawn and then slammed into another island in the Cagayan province. To ensure the safety of residents, nearly 16,000 people were evacuated from high-risk coastal areas, and schools and workplaces were closed as a precautionary measure when the storm approached on Tuesday. The typhoon's impact extended over a wide area, affecting tens of thousands of people with severe flooding and other related issues caused by the storm's expansive 435-mile band of strong winds and rainfall as reported by disaster response officials. Despite some weakening, Typhoon Doxuri remained perilous, boasting sustained winds of 109 miles per hour and gusts of up to 133 miles per hour. Now, as of Wednesday night, it was located approximately 59 miles west of Kalian Island, Kagian, according to meteorologists.